the roasting pan ready for the chicken. Um, I've got this big pot for boiling the mac and cheese. Now for the pasta, I'm going to be using this brand because not only is it gluten free, but it, it's also really delicious. Plus it's got my name on it. <laughs> but yeah, last night I got the idea to make gourmet mac and cheese with a twist. I found a recipe on how to make buttered honey lemon baked chicken. And I thought that just sounds like a really good thing to combine with mac and cheese. And I will make the sauce now. And for the honey, I'm going to be using this. Because, I mean, honey is honey and it's amazing. I used up all the honey that we had in making my rice bowls. As I said, I am not an expert in this. I am just pretending. <laughs> so anything new or exciting with you guys? Or is it just the same old, same old? Here there's not been much excitement, which I tend to prefer in most cases. And I really spilled that honey everywhere. <laughs> I hear a hummingbird chirping out there. And I also got fresh broccoli that I'm going to add into the mix. So it'll be a nutritionally complete meal, and it'll also be very flavorful. At least that's the hope. <laughs> that minute in the microwave helps a lot. It's still kind of globby. I don't know if you can see that, but I'll just have to stir this around a bit. I'm going to add more honey, because you can never add too much. This container was full when I started. <laughs> Need any help or anything? I think I got it. Okie dokie. Ooh, Amanda, that sounds so good. <laughs> Paula, that's my mom. <laughs> Paula says hi. Hello. I don't think they could see you. Okay. Let me pull this up. Say hi. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm taller than my mom. Everyone is taller than me. <laughs> <laughs> Only by a couple inches, though. This smells really good, guys. I'm very optimistic. But I think I might have added too much butter because it's really runny. Then again, I did throw in the disclaimer that I've never done this before and I just came up with the idea. I'm going to add some lemon. Alrighty. This looks like a pretty good consistency. I might add some more honey to it now. I might need a bigger bowl. I'll grab one. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's better.
Add more honey to thicken it up. Definitely glad I got a bigger bowl. It is time to coat the chicken. I'm just using a standard barbecue brush. The recipe I found said to let it sit in the oven for 15 minutes to brown the chicken. I think what I'll do, make sure the sauce really sticks, is I'll preheat the oven now and I'll stick it in there for a couple minutes. And then every few minutes, I'll pull it out and add another layer of the sauce that I made. Because I figure that'll be good. Putting the chicken in this sauce is more time consuming than I thought. So I'm glad I started it now instead of later. <laughs> Alright, let me... Rearrange this chicken so it'll cook better. I have the oven's preheated. I will stick these in for five minutes. I have them on elevated cooking wires. So it can simulate being in a grill. Wow. The water is boiling nicely, so it shouldn't take too long. I forgot to add olive oil. Oh, I'll just add peanut oil, that works too. Hey Dad! Good, I'm cooking dinner live, and people are saying they want to steal the sauce I made. <laughs> Since Angry Pants told me that Muffbangs got more views than he ever got, I figure I will continue Annie's Kitchen, but with a slight twist. At first I'll show you how I make the food, and then I will show that the food I make is good enough for me to actively enjoy it. I figure if folks get off on watching other people eat, I might as well <laughs> take advantage of that. <laughs> it is a lot, but I thought we had more boxes than this. Mom isn't going to be eating dinner with us because she has a important meeting tonight. She's a CASA advocate. And for those of you who <laughs> Does she shut up? For those of you who don't know what CASA is, that's a court-appointed special advocate, and it's for foster kids. Basically, the CASA is a volunteer position where you are the only person in the foster kid's life who is not paid to take care of them and show them the emotional support that they need. It's a very important and wonderful volunteer position. I think I'm going to pull the chicken out and add more glaze to it. Ooh, that smells really good. I wish you guys could smell it. You can really smell the honey and the lemon butter. Now I'll put it back in for a few minutes, and then pull it out again, and I will flip the chicken over. So it should be heavily seasoned on both sides. And when added to the mac and cheese, it should be really good. Oh, that smells heavenly. But it is super hot in here now. 
Why did I decide to bake with the oven today? I got this cute flexible one that my mom bought. It works really nice. <coughs> Bless you. This chicken is falling apart right off of the fork and it is amazing. I'm super eager to eat once it's all done. <laughs> Everyone says bless you. He says thank you. <laughs> I do what I like. And it just blows my mind that there are people out here who enjoy watching me do what I like. I think two weeks ago, I had a little over a hundred subscribers. And so to now look at my page and see that I have almost 230, that is mind boggling to me. I did not think I would be that interesting, but I guess other people think so. Pretty sure I could just tear it off. Tear it off. I know that there are lactate supplements you can take. It's a pill and you take that within a half hour of eating or drinking any dairy and it should help you not get the upset stomach. So I recommend that you try getting some of those. For a while, I was having lactose intolerance symptoms, which were very troubling, um, especially with all my other dietary issues. But taking a lactate really helped. And it turned out that my symptoms were just caused by additional stress. That wasn't being handled well. So I'm super thankful to say I do not have lactose intolerance. Because if I did, I don't know how I can handle it. Especially if there was no lactose. A little water. This group is so funny that their comments will make you laugh your way out of a stress headache with no issues. <laughs> That's one thing I've learned and that I love about this group. Yeah guys, this is super thick now. Look at that. That's how you know it's good filling food. <laughs> Alright, it sounds like the broccoli's done. Now I'll add it to the rest of the pasta. I don't know about you guys, but I love the smell of fresh steamed broccoli. Can't beat it. Probably should have gotten more broccoli than that for this whole Right. But oh well.
Burası da bu yer. You know your pasta is super thick when it starts to bend the spoon. Darcy! Well, Dad, the food is done now. It's nutritionally complete. It's got the pasta. It's got the good protein from all the dairy. It's got chicken and broccoli. And it also has honey in it. Here you go. Clean bowl. Yeah, steamed broccoli and garlic is a good combo. Oh, wow, Rick. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> I believe it. Darcy! Why are you so dramatic, huh? He's just getting his food. You don't need to bark over that. Everyone is saying hi to you. Hello. <laughs> yeah, I did not get my height from him. <clears throat> Yeah, look at this. <laughs> this looks like a promising meal. Well, I spent almost two hours on it. Just getting everything set up and then making sure everything was Meat, dairy, grain, and vegetable. Start like that for now. I'm glad it's all cooked. That's done. Now, the arduous process of transferring everything to my room. So, my dad said he had some of it, and it's very good. So, I feel proud and accomplished, knowing that I was able to cook a new meal without help and have it turn out well. Why is this light not working? There we go. Yeah, Rick, two hours I will taste the food right now. It smells amazing. Mmm. This is really good. I definitely taste the honey, the butter and cheese, with a lovely hint of lemon. Just enough so that this isn't overpoweringly sweet but not enough that the lemon ruins the other flavors here's the baby yeah i noticed last time i streamed which was yesterday and i was eating you guys said that i ate really quietly and that's just how i was raised you know Food should be seen and not heard. At least that's how it has gone for growing up in my household. <laughs> no, you didn't miss the mukbang. I still got the full bowl of food right here. And it's really good. This was a lot of work. Took me about two hours from start to finish, but 
I say it's worth it. I would do this recipe again. I'm glad that you guys are still sticking around. That's pretty cool. I can't stand it when people chew loudly or make a lot of noise when they eat. It drives me nuts. I have misophonia, which is actually a mental condition where the sufferer is truly agitated by certain sound triggers. And for me, one of those triggers is when she is drinking a bunch of water. It popped up over the last year before she could drink her whole bowl of water in one go and I wouldn't be phased, but lately, even if she's drinking her water for more than 10 seconds at a time, that sound, it just grates on my last nerve. And I actually have to plug my ears and tune it all out. Otherwise I get truly agitated. And so that's not very fun. Oh, someone's home. Say hi. Let them see your whole face, too. <laughs> but yeah, I made the dinner, Hannah. Doesn't that look good? Yeah. It's made with honey. Made with honey. I made a honey butter lemon sauce that I coated the chicken with and I oven baked it. Oven baked it. I coated the chicken several times, mm -hmm. put it in the oven for a few minutes with each layer of sauce added to it. Mm -hmm. And then I dumped the remaining sauce in the pasta. And mix it. Yes. So you should get some. I am going to get some right now. Yes. And that is fresh steamed broccoli, too. Did you um, use the stuff here that we had, or did you go buy new stuff? Mom bought new stuff. Yeah, this is true fresh steamed broccoli. I steamed it myself. Darcy. Hi, Bear. Yeah, Darcy oh. loves Hannah. No surprise. <laughs> Good. Tell me how you like it. Thank you guys for all the wonderful comments. But yeah, they're both a big part of my life. And I love them both. How'd you like the food so far? I'm glad because I spent two hours preparing it. Mm -hmm. My first attempt at this recipe. So I'm going to show you guys a really cute video. Alrighty, I will take it to the full screen view. This should be cute. <laughs>
seriously adorable. Oh, I didn't show the video. I see. I guess that wasn't working. So let me try again. Screen capture. Well, you guys will actually. <laughs> Let me make it high quality for you guys. Was She is a spoiled bear. With that face, it's hard to say no to her. The food turned out well. There's lots of leftovers too, so I'm happy about that. But yeah, kids and dogs are a great combo. Get back up here. Thank you, Paula. She's my bear. I value all of you guys. Just knowing that you emotionally support me here means the world. And the fact that some of you have even donated money, that was unbelievably sweet too. I just thank all you guys for being here for me and for helping me not feel alone with all that I'm struggling with. I'm going to sign off now. Thank you again, everyone, for tuning in. Thank you for emotionally, mentally, and financially supporting me the way you guys have. You're all awesome people. I love you all. And if any of you guys are having a rough day, feel free to message me on my Facebook page, Annalise Quinn. I answer all my messages. And I enjoy having one-on-one -on -one communication with you guys. So I hope you have the re a good rest of the evening or a good rest of the day, depending on your time zone. Thank you, guys. You're all awesome. Have a good night.